1440p is now available for PlayStation. In this video, I'm going to show you how to get your monitor or your TV working in 1440p. But before we do that, we have some important things to discuss. If you're looking to play in 1440p at 120 hertz, you need to make sure that your monitor or TV supports HDMI 2.1. It needs to have these sockets and you need to have the correct HDMI 2.1 cable to be able to play 1440p at 120 hertz. Now, if you have HDMI 2.0, you'll be able to play in 1440p 60 hertz. If your monitor or TV wasn't bought in the last couple of years, the likelihood is you probably don't have it, but you can easily check online. But if you do have either HDMI 2.0, which most TVs do and most monitors do, or you have your HDMI 2.1 for the higher refresh rate, I'm gonna show you right now how you can get that set up. So head on over to your PlayStation and you wanna to go to your settings. Now you scroll all the way down until you get to screen and video. And you wanna to go to the video output section. Just gonna check that, yep, video output. And your VRR needs to be set to automatic like this. And you also need to run a test to see if 1440p output is available on your monitor. So I just tested mine on my TV and it works absolutely fine. I got 1440p 120 hertz. If you're a streamer or a content creator or you're just generally using an Elgato device, if you're using the HD60 or the HD60S, they are not able to pass through 1440p. You will need the brand new one that has been released to be able to do that. You'll know it says the connected HDMI device does not support 1440p output. So that's my actual capture card. Now, if you found this video helpful or useful, guys, please make sure to subscribe. It helps me out and the channel and I'll bring you all the latest updates that come out. I appreciate you. Much love. Have a fantastic day. Peace.